We're going to do a short one on Ashton Kutcher, Emila Kunis, and the uh, video that's just come out about them. Greg, why don't you tell us about the video we're going to watch? Yeah, this is just a video. Um, I, Masterson was just sentenced to 30 years in prison, and apparently they wrote a letter about their experience with him to the judge. It was meant to be to the judge, but was leaked, and it's caused them a whole lot of turmoil. And this is their response. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or All right, Greg, what do you got? I'll be pretty quick. He uses distancing language. Our aware has been caused not by us, but by the letters. There's distancing language. He shows distaste. Whether that distaste is because he wrote it or he's being canceled is another story. But they are clearly stating their intent and purpose. And if you don't believe it, you can see the non-acting piece of it as the blank rate increases and they have to try to control emotion. You see her control emotion with lip compression and you see his blank rate increase that caused pain. They're, whatever caused it, they're believable in that they are apologizing. Whether that's wise or not, not sure. Chase, what about you? Sure. I have a small conflict of interest here, but I'm going to give you exactly what I see either way. There's a genuine emotion, but not necessarily the emotion of apology in Mila, especially when she's mentioning being supportive of the victims. And I think she means this. And you'll see her eyes blink a lot more and eye blocking, more eye closure while she's talking here. And this is, we tend to blink more often when we're stressed out, less often when we're just super focused on something. So this is a lot of stress that spikes at this precise moment. And blink rate is one of those perfect indicators where you can see that a perfect little barometer in the moment of stress. And even the head, head movement of avoidance away from the camera there. And in our culture today, the online mob have kind of amplified reactions uh, because of anonymity and they make the pressure to make videos like this a lot more powerful. And the pressure is insurmountable because it's it makes someone artificially feel like some horrible thing is going to happen if you don't make a video like this. And that might be what we're seeing here. Maybe not open to being corrected on that. Uh, Mark, what do you got? Yeah, conflicts of interest. Well, they are conflicted in their interests, and that's why we get the performance that we get. Would they have apologised if they hadn't have been called out? No, they're not apologising off their own back. They are apologising because they're being forced into that situation. What choices are they making around that? Well, I think, maybe I don't know them well enough, but I think they've made the choice there to be unshaven, minimal makeup, in front of the barn boards, so really kind of dowdy look to it all, T-shirts on, like we've just, you know, managed to throw this one together, and yet at the same time, very organised as to who takes what part of it stilted rhythm of of the of their reaction there because i think they they are under pressure now what's the the oh so we've got uh, uh mila here um biting the inside of her mouth both sides uh under under stress and yet the double shoulder shrug of like well, what are you going to do about it so i think the conflict is is this it, the idea should be look um you can't um, found a charity for um, uh, ab abused children and write letters uh, to try and uh, mediate a judge's view of, of a convicted abuser. You shouldn't do A and B at the same time. 
But life is conflicted. And sometimes you do this and you hoped that people wouldn't see that life is conflicted. And so they've been forced into this position of going, this is a bit worrisome, but hey, what are we going to do about this? It's a complex situation. We're seeing conflict in there. Look, I think there's a um, so it, so so it, it lacks uh, for many people the logic because they should just utterly utterly um, apologize and say we should never 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 have done that. But that's not realistic because people do all kinds of things all the time which have slight or large conflicts. They just hope you don't get to see them. In this case you have got to see it and they've been forced into an apology and the conflict is there. Uh, Scott, what do you got on this one? I think we're seeing frustration and anger because I don't think they wanted to do this and I think they were probably angry that somebody let that thing leak and I don't think they did it because they they are against victims or anything at all. I think that I think they're having to come that it should be obvious that everyone should should and probably is against that. But having to come out and say it, I think that makes him uh, that makes him feel belittled. In other words, especially look at Ashen; he's over it, man. He's he's not into this at all, but he knows he has to because of the way the world is run right now, or the way things are going. So I think I think it's it's anger and frustration of having to come out and say they're sorry to the internet. Oh man, and that's and and you can see it all over him. And you're right, Mark. It's everybody's got their spot. He opens up and throws it to her, and she throws it back to him. And and they've said, you know, what are we going to do? You cover these points, and you know they they have to have a person. They'll say, here's here's how we take care of this. We do this, this, and this. So they did it, and we've we, we did a whole episode on people who were apologizing to the internet. And boy, did that look <laughs> horrible for all of them. But this one looks like a. This is the most real we've seen from somebody that, yeah, they're sorry they did that, but I think they're mad that they are angry and frustrated that they have to do this part of it because everyone should know already they don't feel that way. Obviously, they don't. So I can understand that that frustration from them, and we're seeing it all over them. All right, fellas, thanks this is a good one, and see you next time. So what do you got?